Hi, I'm Wes. I'm in industrial design, and I will be talking about apartment living. So Wes, why would somebody be placed in an apartment? Um, in my specific case, it was because Purdue took too many freshmen, um, but it's also a choice you have when you're signing up for housing. Um, yeah. What comes in an apartment when you get placed there? In my case, it was pretty much nothing. They had a relatively full kitchen, a stove, oven, a fridge, and a dishwasher. But in terms of furniture, it came with really nothing. Um, they came with stools and desks, bed, and a singular dresser. How does laundry work in your apartment? Um, we have a laundry room downstairs in a basement, and they take quarters, only quarters. Definitely want to stock up on those. Um, they're not great. They're really old, and half of them are broken. And the dryers never work, so definitely want like a drying rack or nice fan to dry things for you. Um, how did you pack for your apartment and is there anything you recommend for people to pack if they're placed there? Um, I packed a lot of bins um, and I use those so I can have things to store because um, I don't have any desk drawers like you would in a dorm. Um, but you definitely want hangers. There's going to be most likely a full um, closet with probably a door. Mine all came with doors. Um, and want a mirror. There's a lot of things that don't come with apartments like you would in a dorm, like lamps um, and additional furniture. I got these little cubby storage things that kind of have bins that slide in and out, almost like a dresser or cabinet. Um, and those are really useful to put next to my desk and have a little bit of extra desk space and storage. Good. Okay. What um what would you say is the biggest bonus of living in a in an apartment, especially on your freshman year? Um, I really like the freedom and kind of independence. Um, with mine, there's two types of apartments. There's regular, um, non Purdue apartments, and then there's Purdue leased apartments where you would have an RA and are held to the same standards like you would a dorm, but they definitely don't care as much. Um, and it's a lot freer. Um, plus, you get to live usually off campus or in different locations than you would dorms. They're all kind of centered. Um, aside from Hawkins, they're all centered to the northwest of campus. Great. And what were the specs of your apartment? Like, how many bedrooms, how many bathrooms, what did it look like? Um, it's four bedrooms and one and a half bathrooms. But instead of being a toilet shower and a toilet, it's a toilet shower and a shower. Really bad. Um, but it comes with four rooms, three roommates, and a pretty full kitchen and large uh, living room. Awesome. Uh, what would you say is the biggest problem with living in an apartment? Um, I don't think you get nearly the same experience you would in a dorm. It's definitely less communal, um, and you don't really socialize or interact as much. Uh, I don't think any apartment buildings really come with lounge and communal spaces like you do a dorm. So you wouldn't really, unless you're really trying for interaction with other people in your building, you're not really going to get the same level of um, social feelings. Can you get a meal plan if you're in a university residence leased apartment? And what do you do about food when you're off campus? You can get a meal plan. Um, it's exactly the same. And um, for food, there's a lot of um, franchises, non-university um, food in Chauncey Square, which is to the southeast of campus. Um, but those close relatively early. You can order stuff, that's what most people do, as well as usually you just go to campus. At least I do, I go to campus and eat lunch and then eat dinner and buy a lot of snacks to eat at home. Is there a limitation of food being offered from Purdue near your apartment? Yeah, there is definitely a lack of um, any dining courts. It did get better with um, PMU, Purdue Memorial Union. It has a basement section with a lot of 
um, retail dining options that usually you can spend meal swipes at, but all of the um, dining halls are more um, focused on the dorms side of campus, so there's really nothing nearby. Okay, good to know. What recommendations do you have on making it work living in an apartment? Um, for me, I was really far off campus. Like, on the earlier point, the uh, closest dining hall was half an hour of a walk away. Um, so I got a bike, and I love using it. Definitely want a helmet, um, but it's really useful when it's not snowing or icy mm -hmm. to get around and get to classes on time. Um, aside from that, there's a really good bus system if you can figure out how to use it and um, predict when the buses come. Sometimes it's unpredictable and they'll come late or early, but for the most part, it's pretty useful. Awesome. And then you mentioned getting around in the winter with the snow and your bike can be challenging. What would you recommend doing? Um, for me, I'm really lucky to have friends that I can ask to stay in their dorms, um, either on a futon or if you really need to probably sleep on the floor. Um, but I would walk if, and really plan ahead, give yourself extra time. You're definitely going to want boots. Um, and assuming the roads are plowed, they're plowed a couple hours, um, to maybe... At the latest, I'd say about half a day after it starts snowing, they usually start plowing. Um, so if the roads are clear, you can probably still take the buses. When you say you walked at night, are there areas you should steer clear of when you're walking alone in the dark? Um, yeah, there's a couple of like large parking lots and apartment um, kind of areas, sections almost, of um, the more southeast side of campus that don't have any street lights, and they're not known like for violence, you're not going to get mugged or anything, but it's definitely um, spookier and harder to see than the well-lit um, main portion of campus. Um, but there's a couple of main roads that have um, street lights and are well-lit and have a ton of people on them, so it's not too much of a concern. Sounds good. Um, you mentioned that your bike is pretty much your main mode of transportation. Um, are there areas on campus where you avoid biking due to the congestion of just foot traffic or cars? Like, what areas do you suggest not biking through? Um, most main roads and kind of paths have a really nice bike path that usually runs alongside the road between the road and the sidewalk. Um, but there are certain roads that are really dangerous and constantly congested with cars. One would be State Street. It runs east to west on campus and is like a the main thoroughfare of campus, um, as well as a couple of roads that have what are called sharrows, and they tell bikes to bike in the road, which can be really dangerous um, to inexperienced bikers, like North Russell Street. I know a lot of um, incidents I've had with cars not driving appropriately near a bike are usually there. Um, I would avoid that. Really nice thoroughfare is, for specifically bikes, is Memorial Mall, um, because there's only a one-way car um, street that usually doesn't have too many cars on it, um, and it's almost always a really easy, clear ride. Perfect. Where do you spend time between your classes when you can't go back to your apartment or your room, um, and how did you discover those places? Um, that's a good one. I spend, uh, most of my time at friends' dorms, um, if they're fine with that, but there's also... Um, a really good center. It's called Walk um, Wilmoth Active Learning Center. Um, it's near a ton of academic buildings, and it's built just for doing homework and studying for the most part. Um, and there's always like hundreds of people studying there, and there's usually free space. It's great, um, as well as most dorms and um, university buildings on the first floor are open and have little lounge study spaces that you can go to even if you don't live there and study and work great overall do you think living in an apartment drastically affected your first year experience and was it too overall negative or positive i don't think it's drastic i definitely think there's changes to be made in terms of planning and how you get around um i also wouldn't say it's all negative um there's definitely some parts that I'm a little bummed about, which I had 
more of a community feeling, but it's not, there's nothing too, too bad. It really is what you make of it. Um, and it's still a college experience, I'd say. Well, great. Thank you so much, Wes, for your time, and thank you for your insights into apartment and off-campus living. Thanks for having me. Good luck. Boiler up.